The, the following program is brought to you in he, livid color. Uh oh. Somewhere, somewhere out there in that unfathomable blackness of the universe, where unseen and unknown entities submit to catabolic metamorphoses, out there, a gaseous cloud, the residue of a nova, swirls with sinuous persistence, and the cataclysmic fires born of this horrendous explosion race through spatial planes, until, on this night, this hour, this minute, this second, their light diminished, compacted, and paled by the distances they have traversed, burn as tiny beacons to guide our paths to this dark, shadowed, but homey realm to perceive another chronicle of happenings most bizarre on Nightmare. Ooh, oh, 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 video vampire. What a twisterino we have flickering on your TV receptacle tonight. Hey, Rodney, my lad, huh? 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 Is it that you are attempting to break up a severe nasal blockage by concentrated blasts of carbon dioxide ejections, laddie buck? Or is it that proboscal explosion denotes an expression of disgust? <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> Is it me languid lemur that you tire of the horrific histrionics of our motion picture monsters, huh? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> bully, bully, bully. <laughs> you know, Rodney, come around here, come around here, come around here. You know, every once in a millennium or two, you show the tiniest glimmer of some sort of basic animal intelligence, <laughs> uh, simple though it may be. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I must be honest, uh, as we say in the Abe Lincoln biz. <laughs> I think you're absolutely correct, Rodney. After lo these many eons of viewing this antic art, I realize if you and I were so inclined, we could construct a monster that would be far more terrifying than those sponge rubber latex encrusted grease paint adorned atrocities that amble across our television screens, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, restrain you repetitious, repetition, you miserable mama. No, my bucko, just sit down here a minute. I've just been struck with another of my Nova Bright flashes of inspiration. Do you realize that? Oh! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. Now, Rodney, yummy things are worth waiting a smidge for. That makes them all the more savory, don't you know? <laughs> First, Roddy, let us view the first act of our devilish drama, and then I shall reveal the exciting project I have in mind, lad. Oh. <laughs> and if you're so inclined, you avid armadillos, <laughs> you can eavesdribble on the lives and times of the host and Roddy in the intermission following the first act of our terrifying tale of tortuous uh, terror. Ra -ra -ra. Roar. Uh, roar. Nightmares brought to you in part by Air Capital Comics and Games with a great selection of old and rare comics. And by Coca-Cola. You can't beat the feeling.
<laughs> I can see behind you, you formed like an eager oven to a provocative statement, eh, huh? Uh, good old. We'll try this on for size, uh, as we say in the suit fitting biz. <laughs> How would you like for us to make a monster? Oh. oh, yes, of course, why not? Though at first I must admit, Rodney, such a macabre project seems contrary to our intrinsic uh, gentility and fastidious instincts. I believe this, honestly, my own engineering acumen, my fanciful imagination, and just plain old showbiz know-how will offset that. Don't you agree, Laddie Buck, huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm so profoundly moved, Rodney. <laughs> Such a fortuitous posture is enough to inspire even the dullest of minds to a zenith of creativity, eh? Huh? <laughs> All right, restrain, restrain, you impatient ingot. We shall lay to our task in a smidge. But first, Rodney, let us ponder the meaty information that is issuing from these uh, illuminating massages. <laughs> Drab, Rodney, I forgot my blueprints. Rodney, you know no scientist would dast to undertake a project of such magnitude without blueprints, would he, would he, would he? Huh? Oh, no. Well, Laddie Buck, would you mind scurrying back to the laboratory like a good dog, uh, I mean youth, and, and fetch them for me, would oh. you do that? And Rodney, listen, knock three times and you tell the eyeball that peeks through the slot in the door, Max sent you. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, just grunt or growl something. It'll let you in. Go on, go on, go, go, go. <laughs> As you can see, good ghouls, the creation of a monster is not something one does uh, haphazardly. <laughs> Whilst we await the return of the enthusiastic egret, uh, let us perceive the final act of our talking picture, eh? <laughs> We don't want to omit a thing. Can you imagine the embarrassment if our monumental creation of horror were to attack a victim and couldn't bite him because we neglected to equip it with a mouth? Huh? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I should think so. Irreparable damage could be done to our reputation, be bucko. One careless step, and it's don't call us, baby, we'll call you in this showbiz biz. Hey, eh, lad, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, sturdy. Now, hand me my blueprints. Hand me the blueprints. <laughs> there we go. Yes, yes. All right, all right. Don't tear them up. Huh. Are you sure these are our blueprints? Huh. Well, it says here that the back porch should be 48 feet wide. Huh. I always knew that monsters had rather substantial back porches, but I never dreamed they were that big. Oh, <laughs> oh by the way, did you bring some arms and legs and hands and things like that, Rodney? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, bully! Uh, you know, lad, there's only one thing that bothers me about this whole project, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's the innards, laddie, but the innards. I remember looking in the deep freeze just the other eve, and we were fresh out. I didn't see a single colon or a measly gizzard in there. Oh, Not yeah. one bit, no. Oh, yeah. Well, I tell you what we'll do. We'll improvise, you thick triceratops. Oh. We're going to improvise. Have we got plenty of spaghetti and macaroni in there, huh? Uh, do we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's the ticket, <laughs> as we say in the go-to-movie biz. <laughs> you know, few monsters walk the land that can boast of a spaghetti esophagus or a macaroni spleen, eh, my boy? <laughs> Gadzooks, Rodney. Do the audio receptacles detect the cock of the morn sleepy salutation? Oh, and we've just begun our noble enterprise. Oh, 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 oh. oh tut, tut, tutty, tut, you impatient Impala. We shan't abandon our project. We'll just continue it when next we encounter our vicarious viewers on this sulfurous plane, eh, huh? All right. Oh, how utterly ingratiating, Laddie Buck. <laughs> and now, once again, we must bid adieu, pitiful polyps. Our sublime endeavor to create a colossus of horror will continue when next we meet for Nightmare. Until then, good night.
Will these superb scientists accomplish their lofty goals? Will they get all the parts in the right places? Will Meryl Streep trade noses with Glenn Close? Join us next week for the startling answers. Nightmares brought to you in part by Air Capital Comics and Games with a great selection of old and rare comics. And by Coca-Cola. You can't beat the feeling. to you in livid color. Uh-oh. shades of night have descended as a cloak, enveloping the plain and hillock, ravine and stream in the epidermis of every leaf and twig, and its covetous ebony fingers probe the terrain to tweak the furry flank of every timorous creature that secretes itself in shivering silence. And these diminutive beings respond, and they rend the air with high-pitched squeal, and squeak. Oh, good goods. <laughs> this chorus is the clarion call that alerts our senses to the arrival of another arresting masterpiece of macabre merriment. Nightmare is once again at hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, it, Ronnie. I didn't know you had such an admiring hang up over the type of celluloid uh, cavorting that we have, Laddie Buck, huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, now I see, enthusiastic egret, that indefinable drive that is latent in every great side of psyche has you all a twit over our impending monster-making project, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, you're going to fetch a few tools? Oh, yes, we need those masks. Yes, definitely. Oh, yes, definitely. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, we'll need that in surgery, that's for sure. <laughs> Bully, you hip Hippocrates! Bully! Now, listen, you know, Rodney, Rodney, the past few hours, I've had me doubts of whether you were equipped to carry on this great work. But the sight of you, standing there, the fire of the pioneer, ablaze on your craggy countenance, not only brings a tear to me optic orbs, <laughs> but it makes me realize with such exemplary fortitude flying unfurled to the fore, we cannot fail, Rodney. Once more to the breach. Mibuko, once more to the breach. <laughs> oh, restrain, restrain, restrain me, lad, lest you dissipate that kinetic energy and waste a terpsichore. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Where? 
where in any other country in the world could you match such an indomitable spirit applauding antelopes? <laughs> Why, that's as American as mom's apple pie, or baseball, or sushi. <laughs> now, we will construct and continue with the construction of our colossus of horror ra ra in a tad. First, away with you to the first act of our demonic drama. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Nightmares brought to you in part by Air Capital Comics and Games with a great selection of old and rare comics. And by Coca-Cola. You can't beat the feeling. Scalpel. Scalpel! Scalpel, Rodney. <gasps> oh, you gal dip don't get it to me. Here. Rodney, you've got your mask in the wrong place. It goes over your proboscis and your oral aperture. Not over your eyes. Get it down there. That's it. Well, stop messing around. Rodney, listen, we have never get this done because you know the night doth flit. All right, now, let me do this. All right, now, hold still. Give me the scotch tape. Scotch tape. Scotch. All right, okay, well, give me the scotch tape. I can't see for this fool mask. You know what's in my... It slips over my proboscis. <laughs> okay. There we are! <laughs> That'll hold that innard in there just as tight as a tendon, eh? All right. Now, let's see. Oh, sound, Rodney! I'm one leg bone shy. <laughs> oh, Swift Serpent, will you do me a favor? Ooh. Would you run up to the laboratory and fetch me a spare femur? I've got it stashed up there somewhere in the deep freeze, would you? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, they're saluting jazz. Now go on, all right. <laughs> uh, well, whilst we await the mercurial mammoth's return ogling ocelots, <clears throat> shall we listen to these titillating uh, titty bits? <clears throat> with that old improvising biz again, eh? <laughs> we'll just make a one-legged monster. That's all, Rodney. We oh. cannot allow those little trivials to stand our way, my hearty, right? Oh. <laughs> right. Now, to the vital vascular network. <laughs> Why, you wobbly wombat. That isn't dirty. It means the veins. It means the arteries. Now, hand me the artery chart. Where is it? Hand it to me. All right. That's it. Oh, yeah. Now, let me see here. <laughs> I think we should install first this artery uh, that begins in his Kansas City and terminates down to Dallas with a little shunt over to Fort Worth, don't you think so? Uh -huh. <laughs> now, we want our monster to have a classy circulatory system, Rodney. So how about this section of artery 66 that runs from its toucancary across this diaphragm? Yeah, right down there to its San Bernardino, hey? Oh! <laughs> uh, bully, my stop, bully, bully. <laughs> Well, I'm sure all this uh, scientific jazz is way above your heads, pitiful peons. <laughs> so why don't you proceed the final act of our terror tale, and we'll see you in a smidge. Here, you see that? Pull that thing right there, will you? Pull it right there. It's coming out, it's coming out of Houston right now. That's it, now move it up here. It'll terminate in Wichita. <laughs> Done! There you are! <laughs> the last Carthage, the last tiny vessel in place. Rodney, now we are ready to bring our mastodon of monstrosity, our behemoth of bestiality to life. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lightning Buck, attach the electrodes. Attach the electrodes. Here, give me one of them. You got one? Here. Well, you get yours over there, and I'll get mine here. <laughs> well, mine don't need to be attached. <laughs> Just yours. <laughs> All right. Now, that great moment of Lodney, when I throw the master switch to send a zillion volts coursing through its inert frame to shock every tissue into pulsating life. <laughs> Are you ready, Dr. Von Rodney? Are you ready, huh? Yeah. <laughs> then the instant of creation is at hand. <laughs> Huh? 
Oh, my bucko. <laughs> I'm all a twit, aren't you? Oh, all yeah, right. No. Rodney, behold, the ninth wonder of the world, a monster. <laughs> this is our monster. Huh? <laughs> well, not, 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 not so loud, Rodney. We don't want to see how disappointed we are. You want to give it all sorts of inferiority complexes, huh? Huh? No. Um, <clears throat> hello there, little monster dear. <clears throat> We're your mommy and daddy, so to speak. <laughs> I'm the host, and this is Rodney. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Are your manners, Rodney? Can't you see it can't shake hands? It doesn't have any. You'll excuse uh, uh, mommy Rodney, won't you, little dumpling? You know he isn't very smart. <laughs> now, would daddy's itty bitty baby button like a name, huh? I'm found a thing can't talk either, Rodney. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh. By <laughs> The little tyke smells like fried onions and pickle relish, doesn't it? Oh. Huh? <laughs> Don't you think so? <laughs> ah! 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 What sort of cannibalism is that? Would you devour your offspring like some ravenous beast of the jungle? Huh? Would you? Yeah. Oh, the horror of all, the horror of it all. Uh, uh, how's he taste? How's he taste? Huh? No, no, Zouz, I couldn't do it. Well, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe just an eensy bite, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm. The, the following program. It's brought to you in livid color. Uh-oh. of those monstrous igneous extrusions which are silhouetted against the night sky, exuding eagerly from the earthly loam, shrieking as they sinuously slither slickly from the slimy shale, comes an electrifying intelligence that is, each week at this time, visited upon the neural turbini within the concavities of our cranium. It is a portent. It is a portent that titillates our optic orbs, our audio receptacles, our olfactory protuberances to the zenith of awareness to relish another edition of that all-time, good-time family show. <laughs> Nightmare. <gasps> oh, curious kumquats. <laughs> We've done it again. Yes. Across the screens of your television contraptions will soon be flickering another classic of cinematic singularity. <laughs> eh, Rodney? <laughs> oh, by the sprites for Olympus, laddie buck. I dare say I've never seen you enduring such an onslaught of ennui. In fact, I might even say I detect a smidge of boredom in your countenance, eh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, come, come, me bucko. Chins up! Don't you know what Eve, uh, not to mention what Adam this is, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Why, this is the eve of one of our great national holidays, the Fort of Julius. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, yeah, spread your stand, you happy, active hyena, uh, uh, uh. lest you fracture your fetlock. <laughs> Listen, Rodney, uh. 
What does one do on the Fort of Julius? Huh? Ah! Exemplary! You perceptive polywog! Absolutely correct. And our jubilation is expressed in the traditional igniting of pyrotechnic devices. And look what I stole, I mean, acquired for you. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Retard, you pushy pup. Before we do anything, we must first perceive the initial act of our demonic draver for tonight. No, no, tut, tut, tutty tut. Now, you just affix the aft portion of your bod on that stool for a slight smidge, you hear? Uh, uh, you wobbly wombats, where were you? To the terror tale that is about uh, to unfold. <laughs> you want to see your fireworks, don't you? I <laughs> know. No. Nightmares brought to you in part by Air Capital Comics and Games with a great selection of old and rare comics and by Coca-Cola. Withdraw, you anxious hardball, withdraw. We're not about to start the celebration until we have reverently taken a moment to meditate on the full significance of the Fort of Julius. Now, what does the Fort of Julius signify, Rodney? Uh, uh, oh, oh, huh? Huh? Oh, oh. That's all you know about it. Oh. No, it's nothing as mundane as that. This is an event that surpasses the monumental stature of the birth of King Herbert the Hideous in 1107. That's what. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. No, this is the day that commemorates the beginning of the siege of Fort Ferd which was under the command of General Julius Duggar in 1772. Uh. Uh. Huh. Well, you ignorant idgot, that just shows how little you know about history. It just shows you, Rodney, how little you know about our ancestors and how they've been harassed by the ferocious Wapaloosa Indians and uh, they were under the tyrannical leader, Chief Leaping Worm. Uh. That just shows how little you know, you know. <laughs> listen, Rodney, listen. This is a story that is fraught with pathos and drama and laughter and tears and good old red, white, and blue fun. <laughs> now stop that, stop it. Where's your patriotism, Rodney? What? Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. You irreverent use of today know nothing about it. Well, you're gonna learn something about it, I'll tell you that in just a tad. Just as soon as we relish the information that is dispensed in these uh, media massages, <laughs> yes, you're going to learn. <laughs> you bet you're going to learn. <laughs> oh, what a dramatic moment it was. The dread Wapaloosa Indians had completely surrounded Fort Ford. The bloodthirsty savages were at the ready to pour down and wipe out the columnists. And it was then that General Julius Juggergott made his immortal statement. Uh, do you remember what that was, Rodney? Huh? <laughs> no! He turned to his men as they stood there on the ramparts, their muskets loaded. <laughs> as a matter of fact, so was General Julius. But anyway, he turned. There was the hint of a smile playing across the features of his strong face, and he quietly said, Hockey. Uh, they said that a lot in those days. Uh, Hockey, stout fellows, do not fire until you see the whites of their eggs. <laughs> you see, being steeped in Indian law, the good general knew that the Wapaloosa Indians always carried pouches slung round their necks filled with the eggs of the rusty crested ground treader. Isn't that fascinating, me bucko, huh? Isn't it? Huh? Uh, yeah, good old, huh? Good. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure you hysterical historians are quite familiar with this beloved chapter in our country's history, aren't you? Huh? So, why don't you flit away to the final act of our fanciful flick, and we shall see you anon. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love the end of this. And so it was that after withstanding an all-out assault by Chief Leaping Worm and his savages for 14 minutes, General Julius surrendered. Now, you may remember, Rodney, uh, from your history books, this was known as the Coward's Concordat of 1772. <laughs> and shortly thereafter, 
General Julius was stripped of his rank, he was drummed out of the service, and he died ignominiously of an attack of terminal acne. And Chief Leaving Worm, he moved to California and went into the movies and he made a fortune under the name Cher. And that yawning youth why, is why we celebrate this day as the Fort of Julius. Huh? All right, all right, all right. You ride as Revlin. Here, here. Here, have some fun, have some fun. No, tut, tut. Tuddy, tud, we can't, we can't risk a glut of pyrotechnics within the confines of our minuscule abode, Rodney. This is quite sufficient. Well, listen, if you're going to act that way, you can't even have this one. Huh. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Salinate if you want to, you emotional emu. But I will not budge an inch, Rodney. Huh. You see, video vampires, why must be firm? Well, this is the mistake that modern-day parents make with modern-day youths. They reprimand them, and then they regret their sternness and try to make it up to them. They just blow the whole thing. Repent, ye indulgent parents. Repent. Be firm. Be strong. Be, uh... Yuck! <laughs> I'm not in there, you dense dip thong. That confounded explosion blew me halfway to West Easter do. Yes, yes, I know, I know. You're later to see me. Well, you should be after igniting that blasted firecracker. Now, come on, let's get this gig over with. Wave nighty night to our demonic devotees. Go on, go on. Oh, sit down, sit down. Oh, well. <laughs> I can't blame the impetuous and Paula too much, good cools. <laughs> that Fort of Julius story was a smidge far-fetched, you know. <laughs> I had to spice up the evening some way, anyway. <laughs> so until we meet again <laughs> in this shadowed climb next week for Nightmare, <laughs> good night. You're absolutely dangerous with things like that, Rodney. You shouldn't do that. Stay with your pablum or your jello or something. <laughs> Ooh. Nightmares is brought to you in part by Air Capital Comics and Games with a great selection of old and rare comics. And by Coca-Cola. You can't beat the feeling.
Good evening. Through the swirling mist that sensuously caress the silhouetted shore of this untaunted isle comes the ebony bow of a mystery schooner under full sail. It is our psyche craft making for that dark port, companioned by other such crafts from other realms, to drop anchor and disgorge a cargo most supernatural and bizarre. Why this frolicsome festival? Because it is the night, it is the hour, it is the minute, it is the second for nightmare. Good cool. <laughs> what a blood refrigerating yummy of a cinema we have for you tonight. It's another tour de force in the realm of the unreal. And Rodney and I have been literally on pins and needles, uh, as we say in the sewing biz, in anticipation of this one. Hey, Rodney, huh? <gasps> oh, aha! I can see that purple flecked optic orb of yours ogling me, me bucko. Is it that you're all a twit over the peachy keen flick we have on tonight, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> then, vivacious viewer, dispatch thyself with the urgency of the monsoon wind to be good war and fetch the portable television. Yes, so that we may join our amigo meals in perceiving our carnal classic, eh? Huh? Huh? I? I move my gorgeous bod from this chair? Huh. Well, you pushy pup, how could I possibly deprive the trillions of my admirers of observing me at Malaysia? <laughs> they do uh, relish it so, you know. <laughs> now, Ronnie, don't be a base bounder. Skedaddle! Get! Be gone! Fetch! Huh. You know, it takes quite a bit of handling with today's use as sympathetic salamanders, but <clears throat> in utter modesty, I must admit, <laughs> uh, they're putty in my hands. <laughs> now, where are you? For the first act of our tale of terror and horror. Roar, 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 roar. Nightmares brought to you in part by Air Capital Comics and Games, with a great selection of old and rare comics, and by Coca Cola. You can't beat the feeling. Well, it took you long enough, you lethargic llama. We missed the entire first act. Did you go by the way of Yapsahatchee? <laughs> huh. Well, if you think that surprises me one smidge, you've got another smidge coming. <laughs> well? Well, me, I, I, I mean, I have a spectacular view of the ensuing events within the parameters of that video contraption. But unless your neck has a hinge in it, Rodney, your ogling is going to be at a disadvantageous angle. <laughs> oh, no, no, retard, the saline flood, retard it. Don't you think, Rodney, it would be simpler if you, before you dislocate various vertebrae, I might also add, if you were to set it down on this table? Huh? Yeah, so you can see it? Good night, baby, go. Take the table, here, 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 here. Huh. Now tune the blasted thing in, go on. Whilst I octune our senses to the meaty contents of this very important uh, massage. <laughs> Isn't it on yet? Well, look in the back, you addled aardvark. In the back! Oh! oh. Ah! <laughs> well, you damn dullard, I said, look in the back. Now stick a hand in it. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> oh, pish posh. Look up your sleeve, you dense dinosaur. Up your sleeve! <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. Isn't that nice? It's just like Christmas finding all those little hidden surprises, huh? <laughs> you would have been his head that he'd lost. I'd have been tempted to let things stand as they were. <laughs> well, you savage sycophants, when you observed the last act of our devilish drama, 
whilst I apply my electronic acumen to getting this video contraption back in spick and span shape. <laughs> All right, stand aside, you pithecanthropus uh. stuporectus, and let me get at it. Uh. 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 Well, all right. You just go ahead, you possessive platypus. Just go ahead and foul it up some more. See if I care, Rodney. Huh? Uh, double. Huh? 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 Oh. Back already, plenty of peons. <laughs> now you see, Rodney? You messed around with that device so blasted long that our cinema classic has concluded, and the next thing I know, you'll make me miss Bernice Booby Bounce in the sign-off news. <laughs> well, if you had let me check the set during our middle vignette, we probably would have had clear sailing, uh, as we say in the uh, navigation biz. <laughs> We'd have been set for the evening, Rodney. <laughs> oh, desist, laddie Buck. Retain the copious fluid flow. Well, it's now all water over the dam, <laughs> as we say in the cussing biz. <laughs> now, let us approach this, Rodney. Listen to me. Let us approach our remedial endeavor in a more systematic manner, you know? And perhaps my lightning-like reasoning powers will find the trouble in a whip stitch. <laughs> all right, you pliable polywog. At the ready, Rodney. All right. Now, check the unilateral lava swoggle. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Well, measure the oscillating stabilizer hemostat. Uh, oh. Well, check the indelible receptor sync optograph. Uh, oh. uh, well, is the plug engaged in the wall socket here? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah, follow it down the line. That's good. <laughs> it is? Uh, huh. This is an enigma. Uh, not to mention very puzzling. <laughs> What could I have overlooked? Oh, let me see. Oh, no. <laughs> it couldn't be. I, he couldn't be that stupid. <laughs> what I mean, he couldn't be that stupid. Rodney, mm -hmm. you're waiting, awk. Did you, by chance, overlook flipping that little switch right here, that little knob on the front of the set? You know, the little gizzy whiz that uh. turns the set and makes it come on? Uh. Did you, by chance, give it a flip? I mean, just an itty-bitty flip? Uh -huh. Then do it! Why, well, you simple savage, if you have made me miss Bernice Booby Bounce and her news tidbits, well, you're going to get it, Rodney. I mean, you're going to get it. Huh? You see? Do you see? Sympathetic soulmates, the heavy burden I bear. Huh? Badness knows this broth of a boy tries my patience at times, and you well know that has few limitations. <laughs> well, be that as it may, or June or July for that matter, till we rally around the hanging tree the next time we meet for Nightmare. Good night. Nightmare is brought to you in part by Air Capital Comics and Games with a great selection of old and rare comics. And by Coca-Cola. You can't beat the feeling.
evening. From far beyond that border that limits the empirical knowledge of men's minds, from that shadow region where ghost-like entities traverse the inky terrain, from this dimension comes a clarion, a clarion that is whispered by the icy voice of the north wind, a clarion that erupts from the throats of diminutive nocturnal creatures that inhabit the sepia world of the night. Permeating our awareness, this clarion tells us the hour for nightmare is once again at hand. Ooh. Oh, cadaverous crustaceans. <laughs> it's stingery no time again. For soon to twinkle on your television screens will be another celluloid cinematic classic of startling stature and terrifying timber. <laughs> hey, Rodney? <laughs> Oh, by the warlocks of Wap Salucci, me bucko. It seems to me you can respond with at least a, a smidge of enthusiasm for our epic motion picture. Well, arise, you lounging llama. Huh. Sounds puzzle pollywogs. This lad's psyche is sicky. <laughs> I've never seen him in such a well of depression, <laughs> as we say in the economics biz. No, you llama. Come, let us partake of the terror tidbits of our flick, Rodney. Whew. I'll tell you one thing, concerned Carter's. <clears throat> I know that this was coming on for a long, long time. Oh, yes, I know it. Oh, I do. I've been unable to rely on him for the most menial of tasks. Oh, well. <clears throat> Depart for the first act of our demonic drama, and I'll see what I can do about getting him on his feet. <laughs> Nightmares brought to you in part by Air Capital Comics and Games with a great selection of old and rare comics. And by Coca-Cola. You can't beat the feeling. Up on your feet, you slovenly slug. <laughs> Listen, Rodney, I've struck upon a smashing idea by which we can turn this fatigue fit into a bountiful bonanza. Well, I can't communicate with you long distance, uh, as we say in the telephone biz. Get up there, get up on your stool. Come on, get up on your stool. Well, hurry me, boy, the night might flit. Oh. Huh. Bully, Mr. Stout. Bully, bully, bully. Now listen to me. You will admit, Rodney, that you are a tad tardy in contributing to the support of our high living estate, won't you now? Won't you? Won't you? Can you recall the last time you ever crossed my palm with a single centavo for your keep, huh? No. Well, of course you can't remember, you cogitating catamount. Because you never have, that is why. <laughs> Oh, shush, 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 shush. Contain the saline flood, laddie buck. Your old amigo mio, the host, listen, listen, has come up with another of his lightning bright ideas that is a veritable downpour of blessings. <laughs> oh, I shall, I shall, I'm down, I shall. Just as soon as we cause a pause for these scintillating massages of import. <laughs> <laughs> Withdraw, you impatient Impala. Now, I think it's apparent, Rodney, isn't it, that you have no visible means of support? Is that right? <laughs> Why, are you degenerate diphthong? That means you never earned a blasted penny. Now, we're going to march you right downtown and apply for welfare. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh restrain, Lady Buck, restrain. Now, listen, we'll depart in a whip stitch. But first, uh, don't you think you better tidy up a tad, huh? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I told you. <clears throat> you give this old computer like brain a sack or two, <laughs> and I'll come up with a solution. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> now, wait a minute. The final act of our tale of terrors. 
rah rah, and we'll see you at the welfare office before too many anons. <laughs> Gracious, that girl's manners leave something to be desired. Can I help you? Oh, oh why? Uh, uh, gee, uh, when did the accident happen? Accident? What accident, sir? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean your faces. Our faces? I, I mean here. Have a bag of groceries. No, thank you, sir. Oh, uh, well, um, are you sure? We have 67 cases of Iraqi... Bat wings are really delicious. We are quite sure, sir. Of course, of course. Well, have a chair. Sit down. We can't sit down in no chair. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, uh, I'm sorry. Are you sure you won't have a bag of groceries? I am quite sure. We've got a special this week. You know, if you take three bags, we'll give you a magnum of French champagne. Imported, of course. I am quite sure, sir. To well, quote uh, uh, an excerpt from Tom Swift and his electric toenail, you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Hips that rough licorice will never muff thine, uh, or something like that. <laughs> uh, very interesting. Uh, um, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Clarence Cornucopia. No, well, uh, because, uh, well, this is my boon companion, uh, Rodney, and I am uh, the host. <laughs> oh, the host. Mm -hmm. That is quite an odd name. <laughs> Well, I must say, I don't think yours much better. <laughs> oh, cornucopia? Why, why, yes. You see, it's, it's Italian. My father was a naturalized citizen who met my mother at a Latvian tetting tournament. Now, uh, what can I do for you? Oh, well, you see, <clears throat> I have accompanied me amigo mio Rodney so that he might apply for some welfare. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. We'll just start off by giving him this sack of three dozen pheasant eggs, oh. six frozen game hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a... Oh, no. No, and a partridge in a prayer tree. I know what you're going to do. If it's not Christmas, you know, sir. Give that back. That's the time for giving. You will receive it. <laughs> he doesn't want that grocery. Any of those groceries, sir. He wants some money. Money? Why, well, is he uh, it able-bodied? Can he work? Well, I suppose he can, but I don't... Well, then, my dear sir, he must go to the employment office. If he can work, he must. Well, I thought you said you gave away money. Oh, yes, indeedy we do. Udo's, along with our groceries, we give away a lot. But if he's able-bodied, then he must... Uh, it must go work. <laughs> Well, I've never in my entire death ever heard of anything so preposterous. Come on, Rodney. We don't have to submit ourselves no. to these indignities like that. Come on, come on. But, Mr. Uh, the host, I'll take at least one sack of these 24 tins of imported Scandinavian sturgeon eggs, please. Come on, Rodney. Get rid of 185 sacks. I just know they'll downgrade my civil service rating. I just know it. I have never been so embarrassed in an ER or two, Rodney. <laughs> Quoting an old friend of mine, here's another fine mess you got us into, Stanley. Mm. 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 Nightmares, Nightmares brought to you in part by Air Capital Comics and Games with a great selection of old and rare comics. And by Coca-Cola. You can't beat the feeling.